I'm Justin from Makina Designs and basically I do hand engraving, custom hand engraving. Basically anything that the customer wants I kind of transcribe their artwork they've sent me and onto the, their form, the art form media should we say, either aluminium or glass. It could be anything from a portrait, derby covers, basically the customer um, dictates the artwork. I use a, a Dremel, the Dremel I've got is a Dremel 4000, I've had that for about almost six years now. It's incredibly robust, I use it for most of my cutting, my engraving, my carving, my polishing. It's just a tool that I've always used. I had it around the house and I kind of just picked it up and just started messing around with it and then I kind of fell into the engraving. I'll get a message through social media or by, by email um, from a potential client and it would be either a photograph or an image that they want to transcribe either on a derby cover or on a portrait, a piece of aluminium, whatever the case may be. And then what I do from there is I'll do, I'll do a mock-up of the artwork and basically give them almost a, uh, an early view, a preview of the finished artwork and then transcribe it onto the my aluminium or whatever the media I'm using. And then it goes down to the engraving stand. Uh, I'll be down there um, engraving and depending on the finished product, it's I kind of I'll finish it off either with stippling or I'll do different textures in my own form because I can see the image and I know what to bring out and what to focus on. So I'll find through obviously the time and experience I've had with the Dremel, I can pop images out of a photo and make a focal point around a photo. My most popular is um, anodized aluminium because you have a contrast of two different colors, of the black over across the silver. And what I do is I texture the silver in different ways to recreate the image and kind of make it vivid and stand out and bold and almost make it three-dimensional, should we say. Um, and the same goes for sort of cups and glasses and things like that, because you have the opportunity to carve um, with a Dremel and things like that. So um, that's pretty how I do it, yeah. My awesome pieces are is a rim I did, which is that one over there. I did for a custom bike builder in um, Southampton, and basically that's just a showpiece for their for their, their showroom. I was given free reign with this, and it was it being a showpiece for their their custom shop. Obviously, I had to obviously put their name in there, and something else that's something it will appeal to obviously their customers and things. So what I've done there is basically done the Celtic design. Um, eternity bands and then attitude cycles and then it just stippled everything all the way around and basically what that does it just pops the image out of your room so and it gives it almost like a diamond effect so it's quite cool that's how it pops um, a, a particular piece that I've recently done for a lady um, is a memorial piece and she wanted an engraving done and I was quite humbled that she chose Makina Designs to do an engraving for her. So I went that one step further and not only highlighted him, but gave her something else extra with the engraving. So it really is a, a timeless piece that creates impact. To me, what counts more is actually the wow factor. Though. When I give that piece to that person, it's that, oh my goodness, that's awesome. You know, that's just an amazing praise that you get. Then you know you've done the job well done, you know. Um, so you know, no money can, you know, take that away from you, which is quite cool, you know. So believe it with your core um, that this is what you want to do, and that brings the best out of you. And that's what people invest in is not only your artwork, but in you as a person and your brand because of how you are. Do what you love doing. If you want to do something, just do it. Just pick it up and do it. If you can visualize something, you can have it.